All right, we're gonna do the reverse crunch with a pause at the top and a pause at the bottom. So great core exercise. So we're gonna lay right down here on the ground, using my hands to support my hips. From here, we're reverse crunching at the top and then at the bottom. Now when we're doing this movement, especially at the bottom, it's important we keep pressure on the ground with that lower back. So we're up and then right here. Now if that is a little bit challenging for you, no worries, we got you. Okay, we're gonna go just a regular reverse crunch. Now if you're coming way out here with your feet, okay, you don't have to go that far either. If that's, if that's hitting your back, simply keep those feet in a little bit closer. And that is how you do the reverse crunch with the pause at the bottom and the top.